Welcome to Kairos BI. My name is Chris Wagner, and today we're going to get started with the data visualization guide and going over comparison visuals. Can't wait to get started. Let's head on over to it. Before we get started, I want you to remember some things when you're trying to compare visuals. You want to make sure that anytime you're, you're working with your visuals, you want to keep it as simple as you possibly can. Now, sometimes there's a great deal of depth and information that's required that you create visuals for. And that's what the style guide is designed to do is help you find the appropriate visual for what it is you're trying to represent. Uh, but generally speaking, you want to limit the number of comparisons as much as you possibly can. All right. Uh, column and bar charts are some of the more preferred visuals that are out there, but don't rely upon them too heavily. That could get really monotonous and tedious for users to look at, and it could be hard for them to look at one bar graph after another after another. Look for ways that you can understand how you can mix, mix things up a little bit without adding too variety, right? Um, you want to make sure that you're keeping things simple uh, while remembering about variety as the spice of life. All right. And then in whenever you're doing a visual, make sure that you're creating the appropriate sort order on your items so that it makes sense to the user who's consuming them. If you're looking at a bar graph and it's by date, make sure you're sorting it by date. If you're looking at a bar graph where you're comparing revenue across different product lines, make sure you sort by the, the, the revenue unless your organization has some very specific orders in which they talk about and reference those product lines. All right, let's head on over to the visualization style guide. All right, the visualization style guide uh, is out on carosbi.com. Feel free to go out and check that out. Um, you can go out and download this and take a look at it. We're going to be looking at the comparison uh, slide that's available for you now. Now, these comparisons are built off and designed upon the, the visuals that are available inside the Power BI service, right? So when we look at, at, at creative comparison, either between measures or between dimensions, these are some of the primary um, uh these are some of the primary visuals that you'll want to start with. All right. Uh, we have a number of, you know, the cluster column bar charts, small multiples are an excellent way to show comparison between different groups. Uh, some custom visuals that are very popular is a bullet chart and the power, uh, power KPI matrix. Please note the power BI KPI matrix. It can be very hard to sit this, fit this in a small area. Make sure you give that enough room uh, for people to see all the information that you're looking for. Uh, if you're trying to mix things up, we have some secondary bar charts or secondary graphs and visuals that are very useful for you. Uh, the stack bar chart, stack column chart, all of these can be very important and useful in different situations. Just remember that you want to make sure that the story is very clear for people when they're reading it and uh, so that they can understand what's going on. Showing the comparison between two or three items makes a lot of sense in, uh, you know, especially when it's measures in a 100% stack bar chart. Uh, it could be very confusing if you're breaking this up into you know, many, many, many slices. Be very careful for that. Some additional uh, visuals that are very popular and, and very well used. It's the radar chart uh, for showing measures across many different dimensions, as well as the word cloud for understanding how often words are coming out or how often uh, you know various products are showing up inside of orders. This can really help create some visuals for you. Uh, one that's very popular, but uh, some users can find difficult to work with is the tornadoes chart. Uh, but you might have situations where you really want to compare two measures against each other uh, and make that available for people. Don't forget when you when you use when you create these visuals, remind your users that they should be using this focus mode. Focus mode allows them to easily go in and see the details that's available for them and uh, can really help them understand what's going on inside these charts. All right. Thank you guys very much for stopping by today. Really appreciate it. If you like this content, 
Don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on that little alarm bell. Tech, it'd be awesome if you left a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I got more of these style guides coming. We're going to touch on each one of these items. Really looking forward to this. Have a great day. Peace.